Good afternoon. The former state representative candidate police say was behind the shootings at homes of four lawmakers is going to remain behind bars until trial. Solomon Pena was looking to get released, but the judge didn't agree with his argument. News 13's Ariana Kraft joins us live outside of district court. Ariana? The state shared Solomon Pena's criminal past and argued if released, he would be a danger to the community, while Pena's lawyer said he should be released before trial. A GPS monitor isn't going to keep him from accessing a phone. Pretrial services can't keep him from accessing a phone. Even putting him on house arrest isn't going to keep him from accessing a phone. There is no indication that Mr. Pena was ever convicted of a crime involving violence, threats of violence, or even dangerous weapons. According to police, Solomon Pena, a Republican who lost a state house election in November, paid four other men to shoot at the homes of county commissioners Debbie O'Malley and Adrian Barboa, along with House Speaker Javier Martinez and Senator Linda Lopez, all Democrats. Police say Pena even participated in the shooting at Senator Lopez's home, saying he tried to shoot an AR, but it jammed. Pena was arrested at his condominium complex a week ago at 14th and Colt. Court documents reveal a confidential witness told investigators after the first few shootings, Pena demanded more aggression in the shootings. Pena told the shooters to aim lower and hit the homes earlier in the day because occupants would more likely not be lying down. In each shooting, no one was hurt, but Judge David Murphy sided with the state to hold Pena until trial. The defendant indicated uh, a month-long effort to shoot at the homes of these four different elected officials and there's no indication that that was going to stop. Uh, so I do find the defendant poses a specific danger to these elected officials as well as their family members. Commissioner Adrian Barboa and former Commissioner Debbie O'Malley both joined the hearing today virtually. Commissioner Barboa declined to comment on Judge Murphy's decision today. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Ariana. Investigators caught a break in the case when BCSO pulled over one of the suspe suspected shooters, Jose Trujillo, for having expired tags and found guns and drugs in the car. They have also named Demetrio Trujillo as being involved. Neither men have been charged in connection to the case.